So I'm Dan Johnson talking with Brian Tittle, who works with the folks at Aero Adventure 2. So these yep. guys are up to their eyeballs in <laughs> aviation stuff of all kinds. And now they've added this airplane to it. What am I looking at here, Brian? This is the Monterre MC-01. Uh, it is an aircraft out of Brazil, brought to us by Monterre Aircraft. And uh, this is the, uh, I guess you say the follow-up, or the grandchild of the Paradise aircraft. Ah, okay. If you're familiar with Paradise, uh, again, the Brazilian yes, aircraft. Yes, right. Well, uh, Bruno de Oliveira, who is the owner of this company and developer of this airplane, is the grandson. Oh, is that uh, right? Yeah. The, the, of Noe. Yes, yes, yes. Ah, okay, that was a Paradise City, a Paradise aircraft, and they made the P-1 and the P-1NG. That's correct. And this looks a lot like it, but it's not quite identical. Right, it's closer to the P-1NG because it has the third door that the P-1NG has. Okay. Okay. Uh, I fly a P1, and so ah, yeah, it was okay. kind of a nice. So this is a comfortable switch for you then. It really was. Yeah, it's, it's actually natural. It's, it's just because a Paradise is a great airplane. This is just an expansion on what that was. He took what he learned and, and spent the last seven and a half years to develop this airplane. It's now certified here in the U.S. It just happened this year. And, Congratulations! Uh, thank, yeah, well, it's a, it's a wonderful thing because it's a great addition to the LSA community. So you talk about the construction. So the under construction of the aircraft is, is steel. Tubing. Ah, okay. okay. So there's like a, a steel roll cage, a steel structure all the way through here to give it much more integrity. And they overlaid with aluminum and composite. So, like for instance, the cowling is composite. Okay. Uh, parts of the fuselage are uh, aluminum. The wing structures, of course, the, the flight surfaces are aluminum. The doors are composite. The doors so composite. Yeah. So it's a good okay. blend of, and, and you can't, if you didn't know, you you, you couldn't tell. I noticed with the, 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 uh, the top of the wing, there's no rivets. Oh. They've taken the extra steps to oh. to smooth all that out quite well. All right, well, I'll have to go up there and yeah, get a shot so of that. It's, it's That's a, great. You know, no, not just less draggy than many sure. of the, the other airplanes. No parasitic drag. You got a lot of a lot of great things. And in, in, in. now, Alex, who we work with and who is the man behind Aero Adventure and mm -hmm. the Aventura, which also got its approval just this year, uh, went all the way out to the west coast and brought this airplane back so i, I guess he, sure he did i guess he got a few hours to learn that it flies pretty he, nice. he sure did he made a nice quick flight back out here from uh, arizona and um he said it was just luxurious to fly because of all the features that are inside this airplane sure, sure. so the landing gear again is solid aluminum landing gear on both sides that gives you a little bit of cushion as well as strength and integrity to your landing gear yeah really um, stout looking structure it here is very so very stout the and that's the same that, thing so. it was proven also on the paradise that's the same style ah, that they is had it? On there. okay yeah uh, the nose gear is a steerable nose it wheel. It is steerable, okay. okay. You have differential brakes, tow brakes. You can fly this aircraft completely from either seat, okay. whichever you feel feel comfortable to do. So for instruction and things like that as well, that's where this airplane would be absolutely phenomenal. Yeah, no question. All right, now we're looking at the MC-01 from Monterre on its right side, which as you can see, there's two doors over here. Uh, now that's going to mean really good access to get in here and load whatever you like. Sure. Absolutely. Brian, tell me a little bit about the interior and what are those funny looking wheels up there? Well, those are actual yokes, which is something that is uh, a little rare in the LSA world. Uh, you don't see too many. Usually it's a uh, stick and rudder. Uh, a lot of folks who have flown uh, aircraft like Cessna 150s, 172s, and other GA aircraft are used to having a yoke. So this is not something you find all the time in an LSA, and I'm getting quite rare, I would say. Actually, it is. It is, and I'm getting getting great responses from folks how excited they are to see that. You know, the, the great thing that they've done with this is that you can you can literally, as I said earlier, fly this aircraft from either side. Every every control that you have uh, on the the pilot side, if you will, you can have on this side for an instructional airplane and so forth. For instance, on the yoke, you've got electric trim. Oh, okay. Okay, you got on your, both sides. On both sides. Okay. Okay, you've got your push to talk right uh, here on I the see yoke. It there, it's yeah. nice. It's a nice, sir, more comfortable. You rest your hands in here when you yeah, do. Yeah, nice have your hands. big thing, not just a little. It is thin it is aluminum beefy. piece. And and when the airplanes and you know, in a straight and level flight, your yoke's back right here. You're sitting back. You're comfortable. You got uh -huh. long, long distance to stretch your legs out. If you're a, a larger person, want to get in, you can slide the seat way back. Sit down in it, slide your feet in, and you're good to go. Okay, and I'm looking at the seats here now, and the camera may not be able to tell, but they look like big, comfortable, quite luxurious, almost like a car seat. Um, they are. And, and that part's great. I'll bet you they sit real well, too. But can you move the uh, seats in flight? Oh, absolutely you can. Okay, yeah. so you don't have to do this before you get in. No. You want to stretch your legs in flight, you can go ahead and go back. It's Is that right? It's as easy right? as reaching down, grabbing a bar, lifting it up, and just moving yourself forward or backwards. Beautiful. And if you're going along and your passenger wants to take a little nap, all you got to do is pull this handle. The seat lays all the way back. No. Completely Let me flat see. Reclining. Can you do that? I can do that. I'm going to have to move the mic here. 
He's uh, flipping a little lever down there, just like where it would be on a car seat. And look at that. Laid so, and out. I imagine you can see that from the backside, but as you can see, that just lays right down flat. And Or if you're camping, you're showing up so well. Yeah, you yeah. Take you a could, break. Mm-hmm. Well, and this seat isn't all the way back either, so you can slide the Oh, seat goodness. Look back. at that. Yeah. So, wow. you've got a lot of maneuverability of, yeah. the, of the person inside the airplane. Why would he put such a big door on this on the aft of this cabin, Brian? I mean, it's great for access, but sure. why go to that trouble? Well, okay, so here's the thing. In Brazil, where this aircraft is, was originally certified, um, their standards were a little bit different than here in the U.S. In the U.S., for LSA, it's 1,320 pound maximum gross that you can have. However, in Brazil, this is a four-place airplane. Oh, that's okay. why this door is so big. Exactly. So it's a four-place airplane. It has a max gross of 1,680 pounds. Oh, wow. So you can put a whole lot in there. Okay, so uh, uh, toe brakes on both sides. Yes. Uh, conventional throttle air right in the middle. Yes. Uh, what I see a black button in front of it. What's that for? That, that is for the flaps. Okay, that's, okay. Your, that's your flap control. Yeah. So it's electric flaps then. Electric flaps, and it's not flap or anything. It's just flaps and, and aileron. They're independent, of course. And I think the, I suppose that's a fuel selector valve. That is. It's right a little bit of an unusual location, so accessible, but there's a part of me that likes that because then you know exactly where it's at all the time. Right, and we go back to the thing of, of, the, of being able to fly the aircraft from either side. Well, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. This will be a great, great training aircraft sure. as well as a great commuting aircraft. Whatever the, the, the owner, the, 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 uh, the flyer wants to do with it, you can do. Tell me what the numbers are that you're quoting anyway. Uh, cruise speed, stall speed, those right. kinds of numbers. So we're looking at uh, a, a easy cruise speed of the, of the max of 120. Um, we, we've got the... Uh, 120 I, what? Uh, 120 miles per hour. Miles per hour, yeah. okay. Okay. And um, the, uh, the stall speed, the speed on this is 52 miles an hour. 52 miles an hour. So um, that's, uh, you know, it's like 43 knots, something like that. Right. Yeah, 45. And then, and then um, the, uh, the position one, which is like a half flap, is 40 knots, uh, 46 miles an hour. And then the VSO is 39 knots or 45 miles an hour. There you go. So 39 knots with full flaps out. And this airplane is uh, just getting to stall then. Right. And the right. V&E on this airplane is 135 miles an hour, 117 knots. Okay. So it's got a really good performance. Uh, and and typically it cruises at 120 miles an hour, which is about yes. 105 knots or so, yes, 106, right 7, range. whatever yeah. the number is. Yeah. And, I, and again, Alex was uh, comfortably flying that on the way back from um, – from, uh, Arizona and uh, set the autopilot. We haven't even got into that yet. Oh, yeah, right. And cool. set the autopilot. I just cruised on just fine. And he had some headwinds, believe it or not, coming west to east. Yeah, so this aircraft, yeah, that is unusual. Is but weird, yeah. this aircraft, this particular aircraft has just been flown here uh, in the last week or so, mm-hmm. all the way from the west coast, all the way, uh, just, just about as all the way across the country. And he had a nice experience with it. Do you remember how many hours he logged doing that? About 16 hours. Okay, it that's, was, that's uh, pretty quick. Four, four hour legs. Yeah, yeah that's pretty quick. At all. Went overnight stop. Yeah, excellent. This particular aircraft has the Garmin G3X. Oh, nice. It has a G5 backup. Oh, wow. Okay, independent. That's not so common. And it has full autopilot. <laughs> nice. Okay, I mean, full three-axis autopilot, uh, and including the uh, the level, you know, where if you're flying along and you get into some kind of IMC situation, you're not comfortable, you hit level, it's going to level your airplane for you, take over and do its thing. So, and uh, oh, and by the way, it's it's a stabilator. Ah, it's a full of, flying stabilator. Yeah, yes, I see. Full flying stabilator instead of a, a horizontal, uh, you know. And it looks like a pretty big surface, too, from my perspective. So that would tell me that the pitch control is going to be very authoritative in yes, this. Yes, there's a lot of surface area there and a lot of surface area in the rudder and tail as well. Yeah, yeah, it's a good-sized tail. So yeah. in, in, in my experience, aircraft with great big tails all fly nicely. Well, well, we'll touch bases with you again and find out more after you've got some time in it and some customers have bought some, and we'll find out how it's going later. But right now, people that say, hey, I want to learn more or maybe I want to buy one, where can we send them now? Have you got an email address, a phone number? They're working on a new website, folks, so right. we don't have this, that this minute, but where can they get a hold of you to find out stuff now? Intermittently, they can get a hold of me at Brian, B-R-Y-A-N, at C-S-E-A-Plane, P-L-A-N-E, dot com. Okay. As you mentioned, we're with Aero Adventure as well. So yeah, that's we're, the Aero Adventure website. Exactly. So basically, folks, if you just remember Aero Adventure, go there. Those folks are doing, like, everything possible in aviation, from what I can tell, and See, yeah, now they're doing like this, it. too. So. Yeah, absolutely. You can find out more about this particular airplane or all kinds of affordable aviation on bydanjohnson.com. Thanks for joining Brian Tittle and myself here at Sun and Fun 2021. Thank you, Dan.